So we're up in Phil Foster Park this morning and we've been on a few Bahamas, but not one like this. This is a 41 right here behind me with twin Mercury Marine V12 600 Verado outboard. So very unique combination. Obviously something we're gonna see more and more of here in the future. We're gonna see how this thing performs. Let's go. Wait, 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 we're gonna see you on Instagram. Are you gonna have it? What's up, gentlemen? <laughs> So now we found some clean bluish purple water. We're gonna get the drone up in the air and show this 41 with twin Mercury 600s from the air. All right guys, let's go ahead and walk through this beautiful 41 Bahama here. And obviously the focal point to this one in particular is the twin V12 600 Verado outboards, which incredibly push this 41 foot, 11 foot beam Bahama close to 60 miles an hour. And actually we did some tests running with a single outboard because obviously redundancy is something that people mention when you're putting twins on a boat of this size. You can actually do 30 to 35 miles an hour with a single outboard and it pushes it incredibly well. Now one thing you're gonna notice is how quiet these things are. It's incredible, both of these outboards are on. You got 1200 horsepower here, but you really can't hear a thing. And in our opinion, these might be the quietest outboards in the industry today, going from the smaller outboards to the larger outboards to other manufacturers as well. So that's just us. They won't claim that, but we can honestly, from our experience, say that they're probably the quietest out there. So you have this backrest that is removable. You see it on a lot of Bahama boatworks, extremely comfortable if you're running to the islands or anything like that. And you can obviously push or pull all this stuff out if you're gonna do any sort of fishing. Underneath this cushion right here, you have a sink. And on the other one, you have a transom door. You can also cover the live well as well if interested. You can see this live well on two crickets. Right here down the center of the transom is rather large. It's 75 gallons. So you can load up a good amount of bait here to do any type of fishing that you'd like. Right here, I'm gonna crack this open. You're gonna see you have a little tackle station. You can put either you know fishing tackle or any tools or anything that you might need on the boat, which always come handy and easily accessible where they're at there. Bahama does something very interesting. They actually tuck in their JL Audio speakers underneath the cap right here. So it actually bounces off the deck and creates incredible sound when you're in the boat and obviously creates a very clean finish. You don't see a speaker anywhere underneath the, uh, the gunnels. They have the Glen Denning retractable raw water and fresh water reels underneath here and you can actually use one reel to give you both fresh or salt water depending which direction you put the valve in so very interesting very cool and again it's underneath the cap you don't see any of that stuff when you're looking around the boat we'll crack open the bilge one of the nicest bilges you're going to see throughout the industry everything completely finished and compartmentalized so you can easily access your pumps your valves just about anything you need to here and then utilize this as storage on top of that and you're going to look at the finish work underneath the hatches right here check out how beautifully done these things are and another feature we always love to point out with bahama is they double gasket every single one of their hatches so you're going to see the black gasket actually lands on the outside and is on the uh on the hatch right here and then you have the white gasket that's underneath it. So when you do sandwich these together, you have two barriers for the water to make through, make it through. So even if you took a wave over the bow, which is not likely gonna happen on a Bahama, 
but you're never gonna get an ounce of water into this hatch, pretty much no matter what you do. So some of you might ask what this is. This is actually a base for a rocket launcher, or you could probably put in some sort of table if you were looking to entertain back here. But I know that question is gonna come up, so we might as well hit that. Before we open this up, you're gonna see that they tuck this hatch in and actually do a reverse angle on this rear-facing leaning bench seat here, just so you can give this hatch more room to open up completely. Again, you have the double gasketed system here, opens up easily with gas shocks, and you have a Seakeeper 3 in here, which also offers easy access and plenty of space all around to do any sort of maintenance you need to do with your Seakeeper. So we'll drop this down and continue on to our rear-facing bench seat. Obviously you have, first off, very comfortable seating. You have good eyesight of your rods, if you're trolling, kite fishing, anything like that. And you're gonna see throughout this boat, they have plenty of teak accents from Release Marine. So you have the armrests here, very high quality upholstery. And then we'll pop this seat open. And you have freezer plates in a lot of the compartments you're gonna see here. So you have plenty of room for drinks and you don't even need ice. So here on the leaning post, you have more teak accents. You got your Gemlux rod holders and you also have cup holders behind it. So depending on what you're gonna do, you don't need to move a thing, you're always ready. Then up top, you got your powder coated piping with additional vertical rod storage above. And then you're gonna see more Release Marine helm chairs here. The teak accents really bring these boats up a notch and really give it a classy finish. And then these are adjustable. So depending if you wanna sit down or just lean, you know, you're gonna be comfortable depending what you're gonna do or the seat conditions. You're gonna see underneath me, there's a 12 inch subwoofer from JL Audio one of the, if not the loudest subwoofer that we've ever heard in the industry. JL Audio is obviously uh, leading the way on that. And then you're gonna see the throttle control here, which is exclusive to the Mercury Marine V12 600 outboards, which actually has a screen on here, which gives you a lot of important information. You can start both engines from a single button right here. And this screen actually only comes with the outboard configuration with the Skyhook joystick system integrated in it. So now taking a look at the joystick, you basically just have at it when you're ready to go. So if you're docking, jumping somebody from one boat to another like we just did here today, you pretty much just give it a go. You don't see the engines moving at all. You just hear them work, which is incredible. And actually this is also your autopilot. So if you kick this in gear and actually hit this button to the left, you can see the degrees of heading and you can set up your autopilot right through there. And if you want to disengage it, you either hit the button or put yourself in neutral and you're back in your standard configuration. So switching over here to the port side, you're gonna see this one in particular has a bow thruster on it, which makes things even easier. So pretty much anybody can drive this boat with little to no experience. And then you have your zip wakes. If you haven't seen these, this is a new form of technology when it comes to trim tabs. So instead of having two tabs that go up and down kind of on a horizontal plane, these go up and down on a vertical plane very slightly and also can learn to basically do the trim tab work for you depending on the sea conditions, the wind direction, the current and everything else. So it really makes boating easy, especially for someone that doesn't have a lot of experience. So we look over here and in the dash we have dual Garmin MFDs. And then we have the switch panel both on the left and right side, which make them easy to access, but keeps them out of the way, which is nice. Then you have your fusion head unit right underneath the garment. So you can see the underside of the hard top has a really nice navy blue color. Then you open this compartment here this one in particular has two more Garmin MFDs up there. So you have all your engine statistics and also your Sea Keeper over here. So four screens to be able to split everything up and then God forbid, you know, you can have one, two, three of them fail on you and you still have an extra one to get back home. So let me show you some of the compartments they have in the leaning post. You have a little storage drawer here. More drawers under here, which this owner did something cool and created some foam cutouts for different pliers and tools. And then you have a trash compartment here and all this is duplicated over in the port side. So you can see every detail on the Bahama is really nice, even from the hinges on this door. We always like to check out different console doors on the different boats we jump on. So as you open this up, you can see it's fiberglass, custom made door, heavy duty hardware, a magnet to be able to stick it in place when you open it so the waves aren't throwing it around, you know, gasketed like everything else. And then we drop inside you got excellent headroom i mean i'm not a huge guy but check out how much room we have here the mirror on this side same hinges throughout storage behind this rigging access panel and then check out how clean this stuff is i mean this looks like it's you know a nasa space center 
layout right here. Everything is super clean, organized, easy to get to. You know, anybody can get back here and work on the rigging back here with the, with the access panel that they created. Then obviously you close this up and it's completely hidden and out of the way. So if you look, you have your head right here, fire extinguishers to the left. You got a nice cover with batteries underneath it. And then you have, actually, let me open this up. This is an additional little storage space with some through holes, some valves. I'm not sure what those are for, but easy to get to. And then something customary to the Bahama 41s is the space above the keel right here, which basically has your amps for JL. You have an inverter on the left, faux teak all the way back, and a tremendous amount of storage. Then you can even dive your way back to the SK, the Sea Keeper 3, which is all the way back in the cockpit. All right, so now that we jumped out of the console, I want Jonathan to show us real quick how we open this up and get up to the second station. So if you don't mind, John. No problems. They have a great oversized hardtop. You can see it basically makes it all the way over to the gunnel. So they did create this opening, which makes it real easy to open and close. And then, you know, ultimately jump up here, which we're going to do right now and check out what they got going on the second station. So you got to love a good second station. This one right here is actually collapsible. So if you have the boat stored in a dry rack facility, or if you're ever gonna trailer this thing, you can drop it down and get it completely out of the way. As you can see, you have a hard top on here. You have all your controls from down below, your throttle, your zip wake, your joystick, and then you have a 12 inch Garmin right here with your Edson adjustable uh, wheel. So great visibility off the bow, and then even better back towards the cockpit if you're doing any sort of fishing and you have a couple anglers back there doing some work. You also have some vertical rod storage up here and basically everything you need, a little, little bit of a cubby storage as well so it's not too big not too small honestly this seems like the perfect size setup for uh, what we like to do so I wanted to point these uh, outriggers out real quick these are the brand new actually prototypes from Rupp never seen them before so something interesting very high quality seriously heavy duty So if you're looking for a boat that's excellent for fishing, but also is going to be attractive for the family to want to go out, the Bahama 41 is definitely that. Check out the lounge you have here towards the bow on the front of the console. You have your release marine armrests, obviously excellent seating space, but then you crack this thing open and check out this lounger cooler with divider to be able to organize every bottle, drink, food, anything you want to keep in here refrigerated. And they have a freezer plate in here, so you don't even need to throw ice on this thing. You also have your double gasketed system in here, so it keeps everything nice and sealed, insulated, and it's just beautifully done all the way around. So Jason, if you loop around me, I'm gonna actually show you this forward box and the size of this thing. So obviously the gas shocks make it easy to open that up and look at how much space you have in here. Everything tremendously finished. They added that little grid down there just to be able to protect the bottom of the box and you have access to the bow thruster, uh, which is quick and easy to get to if you ever need to right there drop this down and then you have huge forward seating take a look at this look at the length of this thing so I'm here and you can put another me right in front of me here and still have room to spare probably so great seating up front backrest from release marine as well and then we'll pop this open and show you the additional storage space you get underneath which also has freezer plates protection for the bottom which is just something the owner added in but again you don't need ice in any of these compartments you can turn those on and off as you need use the ones that you want and that's an option that you also can leave out if it's not interesting to you something they did nice as well which is always great to have even though you have this forward seating it's nice to be able to have this indention to be able to allow you to access your anchor locker which we can see right here easy to get to your anchor you have a compartment for it so it's not just bouncing around and wrecking the bow of your boat and then everything's nice and finished here as well. Got your double cleats, you got your nav light in the front, and again, if you're actually fishing, kite fishing or anything else with a sailfish, you can easily get to the bow, bite your fish, and still have all the seating in the world. So you're not lacking anything at all in this boat. It's, a, it's an excellent all-around vessel. Very, very competitive performer. This thing is a big, heavy boat, performs well. We actually saw a .86 performance on the 
dual 600 model doing about 40 to 45 miles an hour. So this one in particular actually performs well. You got the twin engines, which is nice to see. Good fuel economy considering the vessel we're on and just an all around badass boat here from Bahama Boatworks. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, share, pass it along to your friends. We definitely appreciate it. And we're gonna do much more of this here soon at Center Consoles Only.